The Zelda studio behind remastering Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, as well as some other like Final Fantasy games and classic role-playing games, has a new RPG coming out with a surprise announcement at E3. It's called Ever Oasis. Um, looks to kind of like a cr cross between like Animal Crossing, Zelda, um, Fantasy Life, Final Fantasy. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, lots of stuff going on. Going to be definitely like a fun portable RPG for people that would be into that. The studio yeah. is Grezzo, by the way. Um, and they showcase that at E3. So if you want to watch the Treehouse live coverage of it, I kind of bowed out at that point. Like I'm like, yeah. okay, here's the new art. Here's the new game they're announcing. I heard like I think we may have heard it was an RPG or something. They may mm -hmm. have said that. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, here we go. What's it gonna be? And then it was like Grezzo. I'm like, no way. It's gonna be like a RPG Zelda game. Mm -hmm. And then they showed off more of it. And I'm like, it seems to be leaning more towards like a chibi Final Fantasy sort of thing, which is fine. It seems like some of the dungeon layouts were kind of maybe Zelda inspired. Um, Some think, really cool stuff going on there yeah. with the puzzle elements. It's unfortunate they didn't transforming get... into the different characters. Yeah, they could be like a beat a ball, or one had like a shovel thing that he could like get the stones and move those aside, so the guy with the ball could go into little areas, and then it activated these huge like Zelda like where this uh, pot had was filled with sand or something. And it, they unlocked a thing where was, you could almost hear the Zelda like Doo -doo 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 -doo, and then, <laughs> like tips over and the sand pours out and uh so yeah i, I mean it just and it had that feeling of like it seemed almost like they used the same engine as yeah Majora's i think they did and, i think so. they did yeah um but yeah i i'm not a big fan of the name ever oasis yeah it seems like typical kind of like whatever ever we'll call it the ever oasis like it doesn't seem like a like a name it that seems like, like a nice. very uh jrpg sort of name yeah um, but yeah, definitely excited. I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm not going to I'm, I'm waiting to hear more from, like, when people start getting their hands on it mm -hmm. and seeing the scores come out. Like, are people really enjoying it? Does it seem like something you must experience? It's just unfortunate. They should have just been... Re they they should have just remastered another Zelda game. I want to get, you know, Twilight Princess 3DS. I want to get... Yeah. Why didn't they start working on Skyward Sword remastered, you know? Why couldn't they have them work on a... On a... On a... Uh, uh, get some Wind Waker 3DS, you know? You know, you know what I'm saying, yeah. I mm -hmm. guess you could say that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, really, 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 really cool. It was. I, I was also surprised like we didn't hear anything from Atlas. I guess. I guess they're doing. Are, are they working on the the, the <clears throat> um, Persona game or whatever, like yeah, the, yeah. the Tokyo Mirage sessions? Um, <clears throat> I, I they may that, have shown some of that when we uh, checked out. Yeah. Because I know that Tokyo Mirage was supposed to be on there at some point. Yeah. And I never saw it. Um, moving on. Uh, 115.02. Um, sorry, we're going a little bit over today, but there's lots of E3 news to cover.